All right, so here is the Courier K Mini. I've already unboxed this and I took it on vacation and used it. Worked just fine. Let's see, you got some smudges there. I used it already. So, you know, you just pour water in the back guy here. Put your coffee cup here. Make your coffee. And then the cord, you know, goes up in there. Not a very long cord, is it? This is a half calf pre mountain. So, you know, you can take this off if you wanted to. I think. Yeah. So if I had a bigger cup, you can put it there, but this cup's cup will fit just fine. So I'm only gonna put in like eight ounces. I'm only do six ounces. So. so, you know, you can see if you have a smaller cup, like for example, this cup that I was drinking, this espresso is only five ounces. So I would know if I'm putting in too much or too little ounces. So that's nice. So we got them plugged in and then let's go ahead and put this guy in. And then you puncture it down. And then as it's flashing, once it's on, I should hit the power button first, I guess. And now we can watch our guy brew. All right, there we go. I didn't time that, but the editor can hopefully tell you how long that took. So it's fresh out the cup, uh, out the Keurig, right? And then this is a little heat sensor, right? Well, my hand is 91 degrees, and this coffee is 163 degrees. That's a hot boy. And the side of the cup here is only 70 degrees. I highly recommend these cups. You know, this is one thing, I just took it on a trip. I went on a trip with my brother-in-law and father-in-law, and he has the Instant Pot Combo Keurig Nespresso guy, and he said his coffee doesn't get as hot as this guy. I haven't measured his coffee cups, but this is hot. I mean, this is hotter than I think my Philips Latte Go makes coffee at, so. Pretty good, I like hot coffee. Yeah, I mean, we use it for a week. I like K-Cups, Keurig's perfectly fine by me. Get some thumbs up.